Um, my name is Julian Wachendorf. I'm from Düsseldorf, Germany, and I'm an artist, a kind of artist. Mostly I'm doing like um, drawings or graphical stuff. Um, but it depends also videos, installations. Mm. And I'm also doing music. My name is Christian Dimitro Stefanovic. I'm born in Romania, um, living in Germany, being actually German, and um, living as an artist and mainly painter. Hey, um, so yes, I'm Felix Land. I'm from Germany also, living in Cologne. And yes, I was thinking about doing that exhibition and to do something, yeah, friendly, also after some uh, deep shows I saw, which were like, yeah, made my mind feel like sad. And so I want to do a friendly show, which is about to do something good, something new. And so I knew this artist before, and I worked with them together in another group exhibition. And yeah, I really loved uh, thinking about having those guys in an exhibition together. For myself, I had no kind of expectations. I was just uh, tangent because of a kind of adventure or of a kind of time we spent together. And um, yeah, I was just expecting different conditions about being in Barcelona. Been interested to work with the city or isolate from the city, maybe. Yeah, um, and I, I think it uh, worked out really well to work without the city conditions and more isolated in the studio here. Yeah. Um, for me, it was like forcing myself to not have expectations, uh, expectations too much about the. Uh, surrounding and what awaits me here but just focusing on producing and yes making my job like i said before some people's even like my best friend uh, told me that he doesn't believe that it works like that those guys work together and so i also needed to focus myself and believe in that it works and I think about as from Seda, I've been here before and I uh, liked the place really much. So I, I was thinking good stuff about how it can work here. So, and that's also a reason for why we are here, I guess. It's about poetic uh, instances, about uh, poetic ideas, so it's not clear to talk about. Um, I'm even not interested, interested in materials or in colors or. I'm just interested in kind of lines and having a graphic aspect between text and um, a picture or um, a movement. I would like to call it a movement. And yeah, I thought it was, would be interesting to work with very, um, what should I call it, um, sensual um, ideas of a text or sensual uh, situations, moments which can also be really depressive at some point, which can also be really happy at some point, just of a, of a movement, you know. Like, but that has nothing to do with time, not with past or future, it's a kind of, just a kind of movement, you know. With the word baby. Yeah, why is it everywhere? You know, I, someday I just wrote that down in a, in, a, in a small book, you know, I did for myself. And then I realized that I like this word and how it's written. It's really sharp, it's really, really rough for this kind of sensual uh, idea. Um, yeah, and I thought it was, it's kind of pop related, pop related or related to pop art in a way. It's a very universal word which everyone understands all over the globe. Yeah. I like the graphics of the word as well and um, also the. Um, dissociative aspect of uh, the meaning and what everyone projects in, uh, into his work. Actually, I just wanted to um, <clears throat> put something humor inside. Yeah. Or some funny moment that is also irritating for her spring. Or I thought about, yeah, that kind of workflow. And 
Um, I have to force myself not planning too much before because I got a huge backpack with strategies and tools for my work. And so I have, if I want to do something new, especially in this um, context, I have to go to zero again. So I um, have to, yes, empty myself a little bit. But um, like I told, I got this backpack with stuff, so I bring something with me, obviously. And um, the first steps here then was to um, react to the situation to um, Felix and Julian and um, to my condition, the space, and starting to work, making sketches, thinking about possibilities, about the concept. And um, after two days, there is something there. And um, this was for me the first step to have a, like a light motif, which in this case is mainly this um, chair and this jacket and other um, everyday constellations in rooms. And also like some um, vo uh, values of colors, like um, having naked canvases, not being um, um, preparated before, before the act of painting, just directly painting on it. That's also a very important part, I think, that brings our paintings together, so that we um, just jump in the cold water, like coming here, don't expecting too much, taking the stuff we have, not um, preparing too much and just start with action. And um, yes, then after a while it um, became more present or um, visible and also um, touchable in a sense. I use different elements of an image, symbols, figuration, colors, shapes, layers, more or less indifferent. They have all um, <coughs> the same value for me. So I use them as a um, tool of building up a painting, like um, sharpening the context and the aim I want to achieve with the painting through different methods and tools like text, color and so on and so on. I saw you uh, at the start working on the computer and to work in MS Paint which is like the most tedious program I as, as I worked also as a designer <laughs> before and I to me, it's the most shitty program I have ever seen to uh, work out pictures with. And you worked in that program to just put the pictures you draw in MS Paint, even adapted them onto the canvas. What is the reason for that? Um, <laughs> I, I think um, Paint is really, with all, all his restrictions, a very intuitive program in comparison to other, other stuff and so it's um, appropriate to painting, I would say. And on the other side, it's so accessible, so it's like really an easy tool for me. And yes, I, I um, worked, I started as a child I, to paint with MS Paint and it was like the tool I could get before Coral Draw and it was until today with some other like the Lux Paint from um, Electronic Arts or so one of my uh, favorite programs to work with because you can um, um, do very nice um, pixel art and bit bitmap graphics also gives and um, yeah, it's a big part of my um, view of the world, this um, time I grew up and it is ex exactly the time in the 90s, um, 
the time before the digitaliza digitalization and um, before internet more or less and after it became really popular and every day is life. So I think um, for me, paint is um, as a pro program who also comes from this time, a good way to have this nostalgia, this digital nostalgia and uh, bring it also into my paintings as form of self-representation but also something bigger that is very important for society in general. You never said anything that you, as uh, Vitor asked you what, about uh, what, you are, uh, what kind of art you are doing. Um, you didn't use any word like it is kind of conceptual or something like that. It's really logic sometimes. Logic? Yeah. My <laughs> work is really logic actually. But I, I don't know if there is a concept um, in, in the whole work or in the whole. Um, I, yeah, or I said idea, I mean, I mean maybe the idea is the word for conceptual action. No, I think it's very spontaneous always and very effective, so. Maybe it's conceptual. <laughs> <Two years. laughs> okay. The title of the exhibition is uh, Lens a Paso Lento. So it's a mix of a German poetic term for spring, and in the back part is a Spanish part, which means to like it's like slowly walking or slowly growing. The, I think the perfect translation for that is to slowly walking, but it's also about just slowly growing up and yes, like the spring is like supposed to not go be fast. It's a, a German poem from Erich Kästner and we just picked a part of, out of it and I read it in German because we can translate a poem and it's like Man sollte wieder spazieren gehen. Das Blau und Grün und Rot war ganz verblichen. Der Lenz ist da. Die Welt wird frisch gestrichen. Die Menschen lächeln, bis sie sich verstehen. So, yeah, it's about the colors. Blue, green and red and yellow are coming back again. And the people see each other, meet each other and to be to like each other and to go with the feeling of the spring and to work together and yes, I think it's, that's important also.